cowries are amongst the most eye-catching mollusks that adorn the area's reefs. This richly coloured variety is a mole cowrie. The shell is kept shiny by a bilobed mantle which gradually extends across the shell as the cowrie creeps along the reef. The shells of various cowrie species are used as jewellery and in some primitive cultures indicate the rank of the wearer. Some shells have even been used historically as money. Traditionally, cowrie shells have been sought after by collectors due to their highly glossy finish and the huge variety of colours. This species is the tiger cowrie, one of the largest and most common. The fully extended mantle exhibits branching papillae, seen here with a juvenile hingebeak shrimp in the vicinity. This Arabian cowrie at Moving Wall slithers past the spines of a sea urchin and into the shelter of the rocks. Some of the prettiest marine creatures are also some of the smallest. Like cowries, sea slugs are found in a huge variety of colours. Worldwide there are more than 3,000 species. They are blind, so they touch, taste and smell with two antenna-like organs on the head, known as rhinophores. Many of the most colourful varieties of sea slug are nudibranchs. The word nudibranch means naked gills, referring to the branchial plume on their back through which they breathe. Many nudibranchs feed on stinging creatures such as corals and hydroids. Aeolid nudibranchs have the ability to store their prey sting in the serrata on their back and later discharge it in their own defence. Respecia nudibranchs often exhibit trailing behaviour whereby they follow each other top to tail. It's thought this might ensure they can easily find each other when they are ready to mate. Nudibranchs lay their eggs in a ribbon stuck to the reef. Like their bearers, the egg masses vary greatly in form and colour and are often poisonous. Philidae nudibranchs lack the external gill plumes of other families. Their gills are under the skirt of the mantle. The mantle itself is covered with hard tubercles. The coloration of oscillate philidia always varies around a palette of gold, black and white. This is a very common combination of warning colours and advertises the slug's unpalatability. The varicose philidia has no known predators. If stressed, it releases a strong toxin. At the other end of the scale in the category of mollusks is the fluted giant clam, which burrows its hinge into the reef. Giant clams are bivalves, they siphon water through two holes, extracting oxygen and plankton for respiration and feeding. Giant clams are often host to smaller marine creatures. This small swimming crab finds shelter inside the clam shell. As does this young spot fin lionfish. In 2003, the Thailand authorities deliberately sank a Chinese fishing vessel off similar lines.